Here's a common problem amongst buildings in tight space, small cramped buildings. And then of course is headroom clearance to maximize the square footage upstairs. If you do not want to hit your head on the stairs, um, and trust me, I've seen this too many times as a stair builder, you will need to, before you even build the stairway, make sure that it is going to work. And this will require figuring out the clearance for the headroom. One of the best ways to do this will be to simply draw the stairway and the ceiling to scale. Um, you can just grab a piece of paper and again if you're an architect designer this is all something that um, you should be familiar with. If, if you don't really you've never drawn anything to scale before you should get some more information on that and I'm sure there are plenty of videos on drawing to scale um, and again this, this information is for architects contractors, you name it. This is a common problem and I see it a lot or I used to see it a lot. Like I said, when I was building stairs, you'd come in and the floor would be built and everything's framed and I'm coming in to build a set of stairs that uh, is already creating a problem. So this should all be worked out in the design phase before you even build anything. Whether you're working with a pre-existing building or building something from scratch. After you have drawn your stairway to scale, simply draw a vertical line from the face of the ceiling down through the stairway. And uh, this will give you something to measure. Now, if you measure the distance per scale, let's say you have a one inch per foot scale drawing, then you're in this stairway is close to seven foot at scale or would be seven inches per foot on your drawing then you will need to verify everything if you have more than seven foot then you might be okay anything close to seven foot could be um, could create a problem this is kind of like a warning area that uh, you should be paying attention to so if you you draw something like this and you have seven foot two inches you'd better make sure that everything is is going to work out uh, if you draw it and it's eight foot you're probably going to be okay and wouldn't be a bad idea to check out my website for for stair building codes and I believe you go to floors and landings in the stair building code area and you'll find headroom clearances in there. And I'll put a link to it at the bottom uh, for more information. The most building codes require six foot eight inches. And of course these measurements um, will be measured. Um, I'll explain later on in the video but there is a specific way to measure them. And you'll, again, you'll find more information and examples on the website. Now, if you're close to seven foot, you could always move the stairway in the other direction to give you a little more headroom. If you have more than seven foot, you could move it in the other direction. And um, you can always move the ceiling over too. Again, I understand this is going to, for most architects and designers, cut into the square footage upstairs, but it is a must. You might have to do this. And if you have any structural beams or things like that, this is also going to require moving the footings, any, any footings, uh, you know, so if this is a two story, three story building, all this stuff would have to transfer down. And again, I cannot stress this enough. This is something that needs to be taken care of in the design phase. You do not want to run into this problem at all um, while you're building the, while you're constructing the building and the stairway. Another way you can do this on a pre-existing building will be to figure out where the first step is going to start. Make a mark on the floor and then go to the ceiling and level down so that you can make another mark on the floor and then you can use this as a starting point and what I would what I would do is grab a 2 by 4 and line it up along this vertical axis here 
Um, simply uh, grab the 2x4, put it on the face of the ceiling or the second floor, um, level it or plumb it, make sure that it's uh, perfectly vertical, and then fasten it to the floor. Just put a couple screws or nails in it to make sure it's not going anywhere. And then what you're going to need to do is figure out where this point is going to be um, for your stair stringer. And this will involve, all, all you'll need to do is figure out the stairway rise. Let's just say the stairway rise is 7 inches and the stairway run is 10 inches. Then um, you will simply take the, you'll figure out how many steps there are going to be from the front. And in this case, it looks like it's almost going to be to the fourth step. Um, and then you will simply multiply the amount of risers that it would take to get up to the fourth step. Um, for example, if you have four risers and a seven inch rise, then you'll simply go from the floor 28 inches up. Make a mark on the two by four that you're using as your vertical axis and then measure from the bottom of the ceiling to the top of the 2x4. And if you're close to 7 foot here, then you will need to uh, make sure that you figure out everything that's going to work out. Again, I, even if you're close to uh, 7 foot 4, this could be a problem. This is why I'm suggesting that you go to the website, figure out what the building codes actually are and how all of this stuff is figured out and uh, it'll be more helpful. And again, if you have eight foot, nine foot, you're in the clear here. You're, not, you're probably not going to have a problem, but anything close to seven foot, again, could be a problem. The reason why it could be a problem is because this measurement needs to be taken from, if you were just to put a straight edge on top of the stairway, it cannot be measured from the back of a stair tread. It can be measured from the front tip of the nosing, which would fall along this line. But as you can see, it cannot be measured from the back of a tread or in the middle of a stair tread. You will need to follow this the stairway angle to measure this. So again, like I said, this is why it's critical. If you get close to seven foot on, a, on your stairway, you could run into some problems. So you, you will need to um, make sure that you know exactly what the finished measurement is going to be. And don't forget, this is a finished measurement. Um, if you're going to be putting tile or carpeting on top of your stair treads and some big crown molding on top of the ceiling here, you will need to allow for all of that stuff. So don't forget that either. Anything you are going to um, install on the building that will encroach into this area, into this uh, measurement, uh, can be a problem. So again, like I said, I can't stress this enough, this is something that needs to be solved before you do any of the construction.